An important point about preemptive striking is make sure you're actually going to be able to hit them and they're not going to be able to react to you in time to stop you. If uh, I'm throwing a ton, Sean, here just so you can see what I mean, you'll be able to see my arms as I throw these big punches, yeah, and that's what everybody does when they're on train. So we, what we have to be doing is getting our hips and our elbows in alignment, and this fence does that. It stops you there, but you're keeping your elbow in front of your hip. When you do that, it's much more difficult for them to catch that movement than it is for you just doing it independently with your arm. When you're moving your arm independently, you feel like you just respond by putting your hand up and stopping it. But if I move my arm by itself, even when I come forward, he's still golfing there, right? I wouldn't move my waist. Yeah, waist and through. So everything's on this line. It's almost like you're in a corridor, an invisible corridor that you can't take your arms out here. You want to move it there. And that's where you get the speed from, is that waist movement. That's where you get speed straight from. You keep it in tight, not out here. Yeah. Everybody likes to punch with their shoulders, right? But that's only a certain amount of power, more, much more power comes from punching with the waist. So that's just another point for when you think you can be straight. You've got to stop him seeing you, so you want to be short and fast and straight to the point. Yeah.